1977, two pioneers embarked on what might be one of the most epic feats of exploration ever undertaken. Their goal? To unravel the cosmic mysteries surrounding the solar system and our place in it. Not only did they provide us with some of the first and best imagery of our solar system's outer planets, but they continue to send us incredible new information about our universe from interstellar space, some 47 years and 24 billion kilometers later. The Voyager 1 and 2 probes are more than just instruments and circuitry. They are a symbol of humanity at its best. Voyager didn't just capture dazzling photos of our gas giants and their moons, it captured the hearts and minds of generations back home on Earth. When I look back, I realize how little we actually knew about the solar system before Voyager, says Voyager mission project scientist Edward Stone. We discovered things we didn't know were there to be discovered time after time. Today, we trace Voyager's iconic journey in pictures from the splendor of Jupiter to Saturn's icy rings, to the topsy-turvy world of Uranus, to the mighty storms of Neptune, we explore what this mission taught us about our planetary neighborhood. On August 20th, 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 2 space probe from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Its partner in crime, Voyager 1, was launched two weeks later on September 5th. Even though both probes were Jupiter-bound, Voyager 1 was set on a shorter, faster trajectory, so taking off second made sense. It overtook Voyager 2 on December 15, 1977, and exited the asteroid belt first. Together, this dynamic duo was set to take advantage of a once-in-176-year planetary alignment. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were going to be aligned in a way that would allow one mission to explore all four gas giants, an opportunity NASA simply refused to miss. After some back and forth with the US Congress, a few hurdles surrounding budget approvals, and a decade of hard work, the Voyager probes finally made it to the launch pad, heralding a new era of space exploration. The dazzling parade of pictures Voyager would send back were absolutely revolutionary at the time. But don't take my word for it. Let's jump in and you'll see for yourself. Today, we know of 95 moons orbiting Jupiter. However, prior to 1979, that number was 13. Voyager discovered three new satellites, Thebe, Metis, and Adrastea, bringing the total to 16 moons by the early 80s. Sadly, we don't have any pictures of them from 1979, though they have been imaged since. Something that immediately stunned scientists was Jupiter's atmosphere. They expected to see east-west and west-east winds in Jupiter's different atmospheric zones. But what caught them by surprise was the amount of turbulence, plumes and rotational movement which are super clear in this picture. You can immediately see how dynamic the atmosphere over Jupiter is. Scientists had already suspected Jupiter's most notable characteristic, its great red spot, might be a counterclockwise rotating formation. Not only did Voyager data confirm this, it also showed a surprising amount of similar phenomena in other parts of the atmosphere. The white spot you see below the great red spot is one example of these surprise storms. Turns out Jupiter's atmosphere is littered with them, and we had no idea. When we think rings, we think Saturn. But thanks to pioneer data, scientists have long suspected that the same is true for Jupiter. Voyager data not only confirmed the existence of four Jovian rings, it was also the first to image them. This picture taken as Voyager leaves Jupiter highlights the rings beautifully as that glowing orange line protruding from the planet. Thirteen days after launch, Voyager 1 sent this photo back to Earth, the first of tens of thousands it would send back 
over the next five years. Taken 11.6 million kilometers from Earth, it's a sentimental place to start our journey. It might remind you of the Earthrise photo taken by the Apollo 11 crew from the Moon just eight years prior. We can see our blue marble and its moon in the distance. I find this photo so hauntingly beautiful, especially knowing how far this probe has traveled and how much it's seen since then. But we've got a long way to go, so let's move on. It would be almost two years before Voyager 1 finally makes its approach to its first target, Jupiter, considering it's 714 million kilometers away. Voyager 1 arrived first on March 5th, 1979. You see, it travels at 17 kilometers per second, two kilometers per second faster than Voyager 2. Leaving Earth first, arrived four months later on July 9th, 1979. This is because the trajectory Voyager 1 took allowed it to gain more speed relative to the Sun. Now, Voyager 1 was not the first spacecraft to encounter Jupiter. That was Pioneer 10, seven years prior, in 1972. And while the Pioneer mission certainly provided great scientific insights, it didn't quite grab the imagination of the public. But sending back stunning images like this, Voyager certainly did. This is Jupiter in all its glory. It's kind of hard to accept that these are actual photos and not paintings or some AI-generated image. If you look closely, you can spot two of its moons, Io, the red one on the left, and Europa, the beige one on the right. But more about them later. Lucky for us, Voyager 1 even recorded its approach to the great gas giant. It took photos at regular intervals every 10 hours, or one Jupiter day. This means the planet is in the same point of its rotation in all the photos. The 66 photos were spliced together to create this time-lapse movie, spanning Voyager 1's approach to Jupiter from January 6th to February 3rd, 1979, covering a distance of 27 million kilometers. I personally can't decide if it is incredible or terrifying, but let's get a little closer and see what surprises this planet is hiding. Before we left Jupiter and continued our journey, I did promise we would come back to its moons, Io and Europa. Possibly the biggest shock from the Voyager expedition is the discovery of volcanic activity on Jupiter's closest moon, Io. So friends, what do you think about this? Write down your views in the comments section if you like the video, then like and share it with your friends and space enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos.